Yo guys, how's it going? Instead, bring you all things Leeds. Welcome to the first match preview since the official relaunch. And it is a match preview of Leeds United's game on Saturday. It sees the White Snake on Bristol City at Helen Road. It's on Saturday afternoon and a 3pm kickoff as well. Not many times that we see those, is it? Uh, but we will start this match preview off as we used to always do. And that is talking about our club that we love. Leeds United and Leeds, we well, don't go into the game in great form, do we? Two losses in our last five games, and one of those coming against West Bromwich Albion before the international break, we of course got hammered 4-1 at the Hawthorns. Uh, so you've got to wonder the mindset that the players are in, don't you? You know, the confidence would have taken a knock, you know, a 4-1 defeat is heavy, and it is damaging as well, despite our league position. So you've got to wonder about the mindset and, you know, the confidence of the players heading into uh, Saturday's game. Of course, it has been the international break, though, so hopefully... Marcelo Bielsa has put them through uh, their paces uh, during the break and uh, worked on the weaknesses because against West Brom, it was clear to see where our weaknesses lie, wasn't it? Um, we need to win. It's a must-win game. I would class it as a must-win game. You know, it's one of the biggest games of the season. You know, we've we've seen how the players bounce back from defeats. Uh, you know, during the season, you know, we lost two one away at Blackburn. We lost uh, two 0 at home against Birmingham, and players bounce back in style. Uh, but a four one defeat against West Brom, you know, it'll be interesting. You know, all eyes are on, are on us. Uh, to see if Leeds United can bounce back, turn that poor form around and, um, you know, bounce back with a win. You know, it will be interesting. Like I say, I would class it as a must-win game and the players need to step up and uh, improve. And it's not going to be easy uh, against Bristol City. But Leeds, we are, of course, still in third, but we are three points off first place Norwich and we are only three points from seventh as well. So we need to win if we want to stay up there and mount a promotion push. Um, so it will be interesting. And like I say, I would class it as a must-win game uh, on Saturday. And, you know, we need to bounce back in style from that 4-1 uh, defeat at the Hawthorns. Uh, and like I say, you know, despite Bristol City's recent form that I'll get onto in a sec, you know, it is going to be a difficult game. There's never an easy game in the Championship. But Bristol City, they are going into the game on the back of three losses in a row, and uh, two of which were at home. They lost against Stoke. And then in the last game, they lost 1-0 at home against Preston North End. So not good form at all. Uh, but they'll be looking to turn their form right around and get back to winning ways as well. Um, and, you know, they, they are in 13th, 22 points only, but they are five points off the playoffs, so they may look to try and push for this top six where they have been uh, in recent seasons. Uh, going on to the press conference, Marcelo Bielsa's press conference ahead uh, of the game. Going into it, it was more of a question of what players are going to be missing rather than what players will be returning. As we expected, Pontus Janssen is out. He, of course, uh, fell awkwardly during the 4-1 uh, loss at West Brom. Uh, so he's going to miss the game. And we are really short on defenders now, aren't we? You know, who's going to go in? Shaughnessy, maybe. Maybe even Calvin Phillips. He could drop back uh, into a uh, back four uh, really, but we are short on defenders. Uh, but what scared me as well, and Phil Hay tweeted it actually, was that uh, Bielsa was adamant that we don't need any more defenders, uh, or we don't need to bring in any defenders uh, in the January transfer window. And I think, you know, in the situation that we are in, you know, we need to learn our lesson and then bring one in just as backup, maybe, uh, just for the rest of the season, because, you know, it is worrying. We are really, really short on defenders now, uh, now that Pontus Jansen is out. Um, but the big one, was Bailey Peacock foul. So, of course, Jamal Blackman, who was on loan from Chelsea, he got injured in another 23s game last week. So, he's been sent back to Chelsea because he is out for a long, long time. So, best of luck to him in his recovery. Uh, but our other only senior goalkeeper as well, Bailey Peacock foul. He is now out with a knee injury, so he is expected to miss this Saturday's game. Don't know how long he's going to be out for, but that's us without a senior goalkeeper. Um, so that's pretty worrying as well. You know, who else is there? There's Will Huffer, and then there's uh, Miyazek. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, so uh, bear with me. But we've got two other goalkeepers. I don't know much about them, so I'm not going to go in depth on you know stats and stuff because I really don't know much about them. Um, but if you know much about them, let me know in the comments down below who you would start. Leeds, we could ask for EFL for special uh, dispensation uh, because we don't have uh, you know because we don't have Bailey Peacock Fowler and Blackman now. Uh, but we can't sign any goalkeepers from the Premier League till as the Premier League don't allow it. Um, so we will need to sign for the EFL. We'll probably need to sign a free agent or something or. We can hold on until January uh, without a uh, senior goalkeeper. I don't, again, don't know how long Bailey Peacock Fowler is going to be out for, but if it's a knee injury, you know, it, it could be out for quite a long time. So, uh, you know, it is pretty worrying on the goalkeeper front now as well. We, we just don't have any players, do we? We just seem to be getting everyone injured. 
so it's not too good, uh, but hopefully, you know, everyone who is out injured does recover well and quickly because we do really need them to recover quickly, don't we? Um, I won't predict a lineup, uh, starting lineup like I used to do. I think if you could predict a lineup and get it spot on for this Saturday's game, you know, it'll be a miracle and well done to you. Uh, but I will let you guys who are watching the video uh, let me know in the comments uh, your predicted lineups if you want to uh, go ahead and do that. I will predict a score though. Uh, so, fun fact, Leeds United have only lost once in our last 12 meetings against Bristol City in the Championship. That's bringing from November 2010. And I think that it will stay that way as well. And despite our lack of defenders and lack of goalkeepers, I do think that we will keep a clean sheet. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 win to Leeds United. Then let me know all your score predictions in the comments down below. And like I say, if you want to have a crack at predicting the uh, lineup, let me know in the comments down below as well. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as I'll be pumping out. Loads of Leeds United content uh, in the next few days. I will, of course, be uh, vlogging the game. There'll be a match report. And then there's a podcast coming out next week as well. So a load of Leeds United content to look forward to. So make sure you subscribe if you are brand new and give a like and follow wherever you're watching as well. If you did enjoy the video on YouTube, make sure to leave a like and like on Facebook as well. This will be coming out on Facebook. I'm just going to plug everything at the moment. Uh, but yeah. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on the video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hello.